All right, we're bringing you a little bit late into this hunt, probably halfway through or three quarters of the way through, but we decided we'd have a little fun today and do some video and then uh, see what we came up with. But give them a little backlog, Chris, on what you've been through and kind of what you've done so far. Yeah, came in on the 29th of September and hauled the camp in way up on the top and then opening we came in and spent 15 days up in there saw a few sheep nothing really big so decided to come out regroup do some laundry got a hold of kobe and he was good enough to take me on now we're into what day four day four yep. day four yeah had a had a couple of two three days ago and up the face and over and down in a good 10 mile up and down saw one fairly good ram there that probably used a different circumstance we would have probably tried to take him but he was not hanging around and we've seen sheep every day 12 15 seen sheep every day just uh, now we're getting down to where we're taking a long walk from Woodside down to the green and hopefully today we'll run something up in here in the bottom and see if we can't take him. I want to give a shout out to the guys that have been helping you so far. Yeah, Bob Taylor. Can't say enough about him. He, he, he was the main key on the first trip and then Brent Morgan, he's been with us down here and he's invaluable been doing our shuttling so kobe and i can do our crazy hikes and they're both in their 70s but they're still pretty darn active and good hunters but bob couldn't get away from his business on this last trip so brent was good enough to come down and hang with me for the rest of the hunt he's he's good for the whole month so hopefully we'll get her done here in the next day or two if not today so we're kind of just hunting a a good old class ram we're not really too into score at this point we just want a good mature ram uh, older the better but hopefully we can hopefully we can get that done yeah numbers are for baseball we want age yeah we're just having a good time and enjoying yeah. the hunt and yeah. be doing what we love yes yes a couple crazy things we've gone through but yeah it's been fun makes you feel alive and by the end of the afternoon you feel dead <laughs> <laughs> and sleep well right <laughs> absolutely like a log <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> got us some cat tracks here pretty fresh this morning and we got old brett coming down the wash here not brett sorry chris coming down the wash here Start of a 20 mile plus hike today. Chris and I started this morning on eight degrees. A little chilly, but we're doing all right, huh, Chris? How are we doing this morning, Chris? Good. 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 Just poking along. Just poking along. Kitty's been up through here, huh? Yeah, I had a good cat track right here. Pretty fresh this morning. Yeah. Pretty good sized cat. Cheap grass, that doesn't it? Yes, it does. Well, we got to drop off some ledges over here, Chris. What do you think? Can well, we do it? Yeah, we're gonna have to. Gonna have to, ain't we? <laughs> gonna have to find a way off this bugger. Kobe's part sheep himself. What do you think about this big day ahead of us, Chris? We got a big one, don't we? Yeah, it's gonna be a gonna be a long one, long hike. Hopefully there's going to be something along the way we can look at. Get her done, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, let's go see how this is going to turn out going down through these things. But I think we'll be all right. All right. We'll give it a whirl. This is the country we're in this morning. Eight degree morning, and this is what we're looking at. Beautiful day.
How can you sweat like this in eight degrees? I don't know. One thing's for sure, you don't need a jacket, do you? Well, here's our path of least resistance going off into this abyss. I think we can get off here. Came up through here one time, a long time ago with my old buddy Kelly Cox. We found our way up through here, so I know we can get down here. It's just, if I can remember exactly how we came up. That'll be fun. <laughs> That's sheep hunting now, Chris. Damn it, though. Yeah. This is uh, been about as rough as one as I've ever been on. <laughs> I can say that. How many sheep you killed? Seven. Seven. Number eight. Going for the biggest one yet, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to get her done, too. Find a, my biggest and last. There you go. We're going to get her done. If we can get off this nasty burger. Got ledged up. I think we'll be all right. Steady down that one. Just sit down and wedge yourself in there. There you go. That's where the old back pack push on your butt. Pushes you off that stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It sucks. Yeah, you made her off there. Them cracks like that will save your life. <laughs> Only way to get off this stuff a lot of times. Hit a little crack or ledges anything you can use. Let's see. Chris says ledges don't bother him. That's probably a good thing. He's not scared of heights. How old are we, Chris? Let Kobe be the crack and then you pass it out first and then you make her off. How old are you, Chris? 66. 66, tearing it up. Look at this, people. <laughs> Check this out. Talk about a tough old coat. Did you step over to that one? Yeah, I did. See that pack right there wants to push you off. Want me to come help you? No, I'm just going to put that there. Hey, that's gonna roll. Watch yep. that one rolling. Yeah, don't roll with your foot on it. You'd be calling a helicopter. We don't want to do that, do we? Nicely done. Butter, sir. Thank you. Well, that's what Chris and I just barely came down off of. I'd say he did a fantastic job coming off of there. Rough old booger. But we made it. Yeah, buddy. Glad to be on the flat ground. Yeah. That stuff makes you feel alive, though. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. I used to race, race dirt bikes when I was younger, and that's about the only thing that gets my adrenaline pumping again. Yeah, that'll definitely, yeah, let me take a picture of that. Yeah, that's some rough old stuff to come down. We made her though, huh? We survived the day, that was a long one. But, Kobe found a nice ram 
right about quarter to five, at least with another banana one. I don't know how many ewes there were. Like five? Six. Six? Yeah. So we're reading the newspaper here and then see if we can find Brent. And maybe tomorrow we can come back here and if he can get my old butt up there, we'll go out and see if we can kill that ram. Nice sheep. 13 miles today, huh? 13 miles. It was a long one. Long day, huh? Legs are tired and shot. What'd you say? What's that saying? I really like you say, enjoy the hurt. Enjoy the suck. Enjoy the suck. It sucks, but you got to enjoy it. I like that. Enjoy the suck. Yeah. Yep, in the day. All right. Anybody that hunts with me has been in my little Titanic before. <laughs> this is the little Titanic. I think it spends more time underwater than it does on top of the water. Just <laughs> what we do. How are we this morning, fellers? <coughs> Excited. Excited? Good. Excited. Pumped? Yes. Pumped is the word. That's left, exactly right. Left some sheep up there yesterday, so got Lucky Charm Brent with me. Nice. Buddies for how many years? 50. 50. <laughs> 50 years. 50. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. We were buffalo yeah. hunting 40 years ago last week. There you go. Henry's. Yeah. Nice. Good old, time. good old Henry Mountain Buffalo hunt, That's huh? That's a true story. A lot of fun true together story. and a lot of adventures. Well, let's add another one to it with a big ram, huh? Amen. Let's, we put him to bed last night. We'll see if we can dig him up this morning. Got to get through some nasty cliffs, but I think we'll make her, huh? Nasty so. cliffs. That's a, again. <laughs> again. <laughs> again. again. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. Okay, explain the situation to me, brother. Well, came up the face of this one, thinking when there was, we were going to go after a ram over this way. Kobe got up here, and there's 15 sheep over here in this little basin. But if we want them, we got to go all the way back down to the bottom, over to the next gut, do about the same climb again. He thinks to do it the right way, which is at this point, it's the way we want to do it. Let's do it the right way. So, but it's a bitch of a hike. It's a bitch of a hike, and yeah, we got a knee that's been pissing me off, but hurting, hurting. It's hurting. But after twenty-four days of doing this, yeah. So we can go. We can go around the rim. Go go the lazy way, and and hope that we don't bump them, or we do it right and work our guts out and. Hopefully it all works out, so. Well, we want to do it the right way. We don't want to flip the coin and just take it to chance. I mean, we want to do what's going to be best. We got a good old, old, heavy Bruiser River Ram over here, so we're going to take our time and hopefully not die on this other route, but I think uh, hopefully the sheep gods are with us for one last hike. Oh. Please be with us. Please be with us. Help me through it. All right. Over and out. They should be there. Kobe's going to try and kill me right here. Up this face right now. Because this is ugly. <laughs> but, hey, if we get there, they should be right over that, just over the top. And it should be shooting distance. So, fingers crossed. Well, get up there and they'll just be hanging. Try. So yeah. if you guys keep walking on the road, bring my scope with you. Should I take it? 
Just take it. Yeah. You got, you got plenty I'll of pack, I can pack it down. To... Oh, hey, leave yours. I'll, I'll put my scope in here. I'll just use yours. Okay, go ahead. Let me just take off. I thought he was laying down. <laughs> Put your scope in here, Landon? It is. Are you filming it now? Yeah. Yesterday, Kobe figured out where those sheep were, and we went straight up one pretty hairy cliff, got to the top, wasn't just quite the right place we needed to be, so he says, you up for one more hike, old man? So, dropped back down off the top, went around the corner, went up the next one, and when we got there, it was just the perfect situation. I mean, he had me set up good, talked me through it. Got all ready, got a really nice rest and shot, and I missed. Put another round in, sheep moved about, I don't know, 20, 30 yards, I guess, and stopped again, like, what's going on? And I shot again and missed. And I'm going, what in the heck am I doing wrong? Then, lost him in the sun, he popped around the corner, and that was it, he, he was out of there. Him and 15 ewes, and he's a good ram, he's a big boy. So, we got messing around after they left, and we shot the rifle, and the turret had been moved, so it was hitting low by quite a bit. Four feet, huh? Four feet at 425 yards. So... We didn't have a prayer. <laughs> we didn't have a prayer. But hopefully today we got a couple guys over on the other side looking back this way. And Kobe's going to haul me up here, find me a place to glass, and he's going to start looking around, see if we can find that big band, because there's a lot of sheep there. And he's pretty sure he knows where they went. So we'll get up there, see what we can see. And we'll take her from there, see if we get another whack at him. Yeah, I never would have been so happy to throw my own rifle off a cliff in my life. <laughs> the more the, the more it would have splatted on the ground, the better I would have felt. <laughs> but that's just what happens in hunting. Like you said, you got to enjoy the suck, and yesterday yeah. sucked bad. I, I was going to film on the way out, but I was too mad. I didn't even want to film. <laughs> so today, uh, today I'm in a little better mood. Yeah, yeah. He, was, he was a little upset with himself, but it's, <laughs> like you said, it's just the stuff that happens, and yeah. it's nobody's fault. It just happened so yeah we figured that i had that backpack that rifle in the backpack for about 50 miles probably we had hiked and i think it just going off the rocks and it rubbing the butt of the stock going through the rocks just must have twisted that turret in the in the backpack so today we are not putting the gun in the backpack and we got everything zeroed in again last night and we'll see how it goes i guess we'll turn him up hope okay see ya okay. man made it to the top. Kobe had time to get up here and take a nap and wait for me, but we got up here. Found our sheep. Found our sheep. He's moved on around the point over here, kind of to where we were yesterday. Kobe's thinking, so. But we hit the main plateau, which is a good thing. Now we can hopefully even get over there and find him relaxed and laying up over there, so. <laughs> We got time to do something with him, but fingers crossed, man. So far, so good today. Awesome. We came up through some stuff, didn't we?
Well, you gotta enjoy this suck, cause at this point, it's sucking. <laughs> that's about all we got, ain't it? Yeah, we had a we had a big long one today. Two banana rams, a buck, and a U L, and there was the one good one that was above us. That oh was, yeah, that got the out big, this morning the big ram. We never saw. You saw him, I didn't see him, but yeah. But it was, yeah, it was a good one today. Lots of cliffs, lots of scary spots. Worked out okay. And now here we are, safe the river in the Titanic. In the Titanic. In the Titanic. Here we go with the Titanic. Gotta love the Titanic. Good old ledges. Trying to get up through these. That's a little ledge right here. We're gonna try to go up through if we can. We'll see, huh? Trick to getting through this nasty shit. Moving stuff like that that's gonna slide on you. Always give yourself a good foothold. Sometimes your life will depend on a rock like that. Make sure it's not gonna kick out on you and your foot's not gonna slip off of it. Just like this. <clears throat> there we go again. Tear that crap out of your way. It's always awesome when you get through a good ledge like that. And you got three more to go up. Awesome. And this hill's a big bastard. You're going through the ledges and you get to a spot like that. That's a sheep hunter's ladder. That's what you call that. Just go right up through there. Step there, 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 there. That's what I call those. Cheap hunter's ladder. Let's see if we can get up this.
turn back. I'll take it. You want me to take this scope? He turned back. Yeah. So hold on. He turned what? back. Hold on. Hold on for just a sec. He may try to work his way up the U. He's not left. He might though. He very easily could cross right over. You can be able to see him over there? Should that road wraps all the way around. Guess those guys would get here. Pretty much. Yeah, jagged rock comes right down below it. This dark red one. Yeah, then you come out where it drops off. He's just underneath the ledge now. On this end and it drops off. He's right there. Now you're talking blue up top. Yes, clear to the skyline. Right where it's got the little heart shape. Yes. Yeah, he's so underneath the ledge. Is there just walking to the right? How far down? He is right below that. I'm not sure. He's going to go yeah, right up through it. He's, in that, he's above the sage in that one up on that ledge. Yeah, he's going to cross over unless he gets on top of that. Yeah. See how it's going to be a little heart shape. He's going to be right on the skyline here in a second. Ooh, the dark red. Yeah. Anyway, he's right that in used, that. I think Come in, you can look at this. I just looked at my phone. Right that quick. Yeah, he's going to go right through the track right on the top. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Yep, there he goes. Oh, he's turning around. All you can see is his ass. Oh my. Looks like he went back. Freaking pitcher ass. There he is, right on the top. Right? Yeah. Video. Look at him. Look at his head. Just look at him. Yeah, you see. He, oh, that's beautiful right there. He's standing right out on the rock now. He's standing the whole body standing there. You can just see him blowing his breath and yeah. stuff in the air. <laughs> yeah. Stay there, dude. Now we can get the hunter here. All right, don't then. All right, don't. He's looking at that U. Oh, here he comes. Come see, back. he's making his way to the U. Come back now. That's good. He's right on the ridge. Yeah. Yep, that's the level the U's on. He's right there in front oh, of him. He's going to go through the U. Yep. She stood up. He's going right to her. Okay, now you... you She's in heat, too. There's a U. See? Look, how Look at her. She's pissing hard. Hits high. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. Right down below that. There's a... There's a okay, there's perfect. A you realize I'm videoing that. <laughs> no. Keep it. PG ridges. She's in heat though. That's good. See how, where that, that comes up from the, where he was? Mm -hmm. And then it goes up and then it goes up, up high. Mm -hmm. Looks right down below down that. Down he, he, him and hers right there. She is in heat though. Yep. That'll slow him down. Oh, look, the old lip curler. Oh, yeah. Is a good thing. He's a very good thing. Yeah, she, he stopped. He's curling. He's yeah. One U is in the cliff, one U is above it, and he's down around the middle. And he's like, oh. that's it. That rat, yeah, I mean, that couldn't be any better. Now we've got him slowed down. That's it. I don't think they get traveling it. I, I was hoping that he's probably traveled more than five, six miles. I'm hoping, I was hoping that, that you'd slow him down. Uh oh, that's not good. No, nope. oh, no, he's just eating. He's eating. Now he's he may calm just down. wait with her and calm down. Yeah, he might just be content with her for a minute. I hope.
looks like a good one, man. He's a good one. A really good one. Oh. oh my hell. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, man. Oh my god. Oh. 26 days of hell, man. I don't have any words. I don't have any words, man. Uh, all I know is he looked like a good one. I don't know if it's our boy or not, but he looks like a damn nice ram. And I like, oh. Oh. Now if we can get there. Oh, we can get there. Trust me on that. Oh my hell. What did you think of him? He's nice. He's really long. He's, he's pretty. He's long and pretty. I could see. He's really long. I could. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> oh my god. It's oh. alright. Let it out, man. Work your ass off for I've this. I've never shit. worked so hard for anything in my entire life. I kind of. I mean, I had it right on him on that first one. I didn't see where it hit, did you? I didn't either. I think you hit him. I just couldn't tell where. Because he didn't just like bolt out of there. He just stood up. Yeah. And took a couple steps. His ears are still standing here. I about shit when I came around that corner and I sat down. I thought, okay, I'm going to sit here and take a glass for a minute. And looked and it's like, holy shit. There's a whole band in there. And I looked and I saw a banana ram. And then I could see the ewes, and I really couldn't tell what he was because he was laying facing away. So I moved just a little bit, and I could all I could see was big horn coming around. I thought that's that's got to be him, but I wanted your advice. But he looked like a he looked like a good ram. Oh, that worked out so perfect, man. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well. See if we can get off this nasty bastard and go take a look at him. Oh my god, I didn't even see where he went. He's laying right there, wadded up. What are those in that draw? In the draw. Okay, here we go. Chris, give me just <laughs> give us the story on your ram here. Well, we finally got her done after 26 days. Found this guy laying right up there. On that bed, I was able to sneak in and get a good shot on him. It took us two hours to get over here to get him, and I'm just tickled to death to even be sitting by a sheep after all this. Didn't know if we was going to get her done. We didn't know if we was going to get her done. And on the way over here, we ran into that great big broom bruiser at 300 yards, laughing at us. <laughs> the one we've been chasing the whole time. The one we've been chasing. Haven't found him, haven't found him. We loop around to get to this ram, and he's 200 yards below us with six shoes looking at us. <laughs> but, hey, I'm happy. Kobe did a great job. Worked my butt off, and I'm tickled. I'm tickled. I'm just happy that we got it done after, I mean, 26 days. He's a little younger than we wanted. We wanted an older ram, obviously, but... Uh, this unit's been through a die-off, and uh, it is really, really, really tough to find that age class ram. They're just, yeah, there's a few, but not many. That. I mean, we've gone through a bunch of sheep. We've seen 10 to 20 a day. Yeah, 10 to 20 sheep day. a day, every day. And banana ram, banana ram, time after time after time. And when you find one like this, it's like, you know what? It's We got, what, three days left of the hunt. Yeah, it's over. It's over. So, once in a lifetime, you can't just. Once in a lifetime, waited 23 years to get here, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. We got her done. Kobe did great. Talked me through the shot, nice and. She's okay right there. We got her done. Shot didn't find him though. Yeah, that was a little. <laughs> he rolled down here, and we. Couldn't quite remember. I mean, we knew he was just left of that and those white, those rocks right there. Yeah. And he was just kind of tucked in a little hole. 
Yeah. Shows you how hard it is to see them even alive. Yeah. Can't about walk right past them dead, let alone yeah. just hard to see it. They just blend in so well. Yeah. But awesome. We well, think in you. a couple of years this, you know, they'll probably be coming back well. Yeah. A lot of a lot of single ewes with banana rams with them. Yeah, there's a lot of young rams around, so I think it'll come back, but it's just right now it is just tough. extremely tough. Yeah. It's a good hunt though, huh? It was very good. Yeah. We put on a lot of miles. How many miles do you think we hiked? Oh my heck. Pushing a hundred. Oh yeah, easily. Yeah, easy it's pushing a hundred. And they've all been this stuff. Yeah. Up and down this. In fact, I'm going to have to take a video of this spot before it gets too dark because we've done this how many times? Up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah, we've climbed a couple thousand feet every day for... Every day. <laughs> every darn day. <laughs> so... I was, I'm serious. Today, I after we went as far as we did and then up and over, I was just to the point of going, I'm out of gas. I don't have anything left in the tank. 66 years old and a bad knee, I say you've done fantastic. We, we, we pushed that knee. We got about all we could get out of that knee. <laughs> we did. We did. I've been pounding ibuprofen like candy. <laughs> but we got her. All right. All right. Over now. Thank you.